Christine Lagarde mengatakan sebanyak 19 negara di kawasan Eropa perlambatan ekonominya nampak nyata. Ekonominya dinilai lemah. Lagarde menyatakan industri manufaktur di Eropa merupakan yang paling terpukul oleh perlambatan dan ketidakpastian ekonomi global. Sentimen tersebut telah menurunkan permintaan barang dari perusahaan di Uni Eropa. Meski pada kuartal 3 2019 ekonomi Uni Eropa hanya tumbuh 0,2 persen. Namun Lagarde belum menemukan atau memberikan indikasi dirinya akan mempertimbangkan untuk memberikan stimulus moneter. Macroeconomic landscape has been marked by the great financial crisis in 2008 and then the sovereign debt crisis that triggered uh, here in Europe in 2011. More recently, that landscape has been affected by low inflation pretty much around the world and certainly in the advanced economies. And at the same time, new challenges are taking place from demographic changes, aging of societies, predominantly in the, in the advanced economies, but also massive technological changes and breakthrough, especially when they're compounded. And climate change has finally reached the mainstream debate and is hitting the screen on of everyone who is interested in the future and has policy responsibilities. Finally, conventional wisdom that used to apply has been challenged and monetary policy globally has had to explore uncharted territories. So this really calls on us to review our strategy and to consider how our monetary policy can best deliver on its mandate.